Hello, Mr. Dhanoa. Welcome to the Quint. Uh, many of our viewers may not recognize you as a captain in the Navy, but as a super villain from the 80s and the 90s. But what some of the biggest superstars like Mr. Amitabh Bachchan? But we'll come to that a little later. First off, let's talk about your battle with coronavirus. How you fought with it all by yourself, away from your country. How was the experience, sir? Please share with us. Ah. Uh... Okay, you know, I I was on the ship and uh, I was off the coast of uh, Brazil. So uh, we had some vendors who came on board, and I think one of those guys might have been a asymptomatic carrier, and uh, I guess uh, we got infected because uh, you know he passed it on to us. Finally, was uh, uh, you know evacuated from there by a chopper and uh, brought down, and when. Uh, they checked uh, or did the swab test with me they did a physical examination of mine and they checked my oxygen concentration in the ct scan it showed that my lungs were uh, slightly compromised uh, you know the the infection had set in uh, they didn't wait for my swab uh, test uh, results they immediately they, and i asked them i said well, is it uh, covid listen they said listen we are not waiting for the results this in itself is proof enough that you have covid okay so they immediately started me on the treatment and i was in the icu for about 7 8 days were you able to inform your family i had a uh, contact with my wife uh nandita she do is try to write on a piece of paper and ask these uh, nurses to take a photograph and then they would whatsapp that uh, that to my wife and she would you know acknowledge it and you know so that was the only communication i had since you've been on ship and you are a captain yourself yeah. you've been yeah. getting to know about the seafarer struggles on board reportedly uh, many have considered self harm as well since they are some are out of contract by now but still stuck and some are just a little uncertain that whether we will be able to sign off or not it has caused a lot of panic on board what would you like to say about this would you like to comment a little on that we 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 were different kind of seafarers i guess of the earlier years uh, because <laughs> we, we 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 were exposed we used to sail for a year you know we were away from home in, in for for a long time and we we've started sailing in in an era when there was no communication i i never uh, Well, you know, I would sail out, and you know, maybe in those six months, maybe talk to my parents once. We are used to it, but the new generation is not, because now <laughs> they've got used to, uh, you know, uh, they just pick up the phone and they have uh, all kinds of ways of communication, and they are in touch with their family all the time, and uh, also the contracts have become, you know, three months, uh, unlike our earlier days. Since I've got a chance to talk to you as well. <laughs> Let's talk about your journey in the Bollywood as well. I mean, okay. so going back there, how did you get your break in Bollywood in the eighties? I I was out of a job. I was a <laughs> cadet with the Shipping Corporation of India. I had started modeling back then. Modeling was giving me good money. I, I I said I'll let's manage till I can go back. So that was my intention. I had no intention of joining the movies, and uh, I was having a good time too because. You know, at the age of twenty, twenty-one, a model, and you know, you're rubbing shoulders with all the pretty women. And, you know, it was good. Time. Yeah. It was very good. Yeah, great fun. And then uh, I happened to go for a party. Uh, uh, it was uh, the golden, no, uh, silver, silver jubilee party of Kurbani. I. went for my jog on the beach and while i was running and uh, one guy approached me and and he said listen manmohan desai is making a movie with amitabh bachchan this is the movie after his uh, illness his comeback and he wants he's looking for a main villain which he was looking at you so are you interested as he is i am the movie took its time because amitabh was still you know not fully recovered he, I mean, there was a lot of weakness after his recovery, and so the time, little bit of time, extra time, not much. Uh, it took, and uh, uh, I must say, uh, it was great working with both Manmohan Desai and Amitabh Bachchan. 
I'm talking about Marth. Manmohan Desai was one of those guys who uh, tried to get a feedback from everybody on every scene, how it should be done. You know, like he wanted the uh, front benches to give a back, you know, feedback. And then Amitabh Bachchan. I remember when I walked to the sets, when there was a fight going on between um, Amitabh and uh, Taraji. I, I went there and I saw Amji sitting with his head down. And so I said, maybe, you know, he's rehearsing his lines or, you know, I didn't want to disturb him. And, you know, they put my chair about you know, six or eight feet away. So I went and just about sat down. And when I uh, sat down only and suddenly before I knew, I saw Amit had got up, walked to me and put out his hand and I said, Hi, I'm Amit. And, and I was so, you know, taken aback suddenly because I just sat down and I got up and I said, Hi, sir. Hey. Yes, of course, I know who you are. <laughs> and he was very helpful, you know. I'll tell you, he made me feel so comfortable because that was my first movie. I wasn't an actor and uh, I'd never done acting in school or I, and ever. And there were times, you know, uh, like a lot of times uh, Manji's assistants would take the scene or something. And, uh, you know, Amaj, of course, Amaji, they couldn't say anything to him. Uh, but they would try to bullshit me, you know, because of the newcomer. Oh, Dan is going to do this, he's going to do this, he's going to do this. would tell them, yes, shut up. Well, why I didn't last out too long? Reasons, uh, I'll tell you, because, you know, I wasn't born and brought up in the industry. And uh, I didn't know how to go about getting work and, you know, I mean, I didn't know the ways of the industry, let's put it this way. There were no challenges, nothing challenging. It was the same kind of role. I would sometimes do three, three shifts and, uh, you know, you know, but I remember, you know, like dialogues like this, you would say similar or similar lines, would same thing you would be saying in three movies, you know, different shifts, you you know, ending up. So there were, there was, there, there were no, there was no challenge here. Friends from your, from the industry right now as well. I mean, friends here. I have contact. I have a lot of friends. We might not meet in years. So many of my friends sending me messages. Whoever have come to know, uh, you know, from my time. Dharamji, I've been meeting when he comes to Chandigarh. Sometimes when I'm in Bombay, I, I happen to go for any film party, and I catch up. It's like old times. It's good fun. It's really good fun. You know, I, you won't believe it. I've shot for a movie just uh, of late. Uh, last year, I did a movie. Uh, in the, it's it's a Tamil movie, and I played yeah. Vijay Malia in it. I think it's got delayed because of uh, this virus, coronavirus. But um, it was after many, and I had to do everything in Tamil. So it was great. Uh, uh, Surya is the hero. It's a big, big movie, and uh, Paresh was playing uh, Narish Goel. So anyway, let let the movie come. We'll see. But. Uh, this I was yeah. shooting for a movie after 29 years, that, but I was quite okay, I was very comfortable.